Okay, we continue to the Google I.O. 2024 with the second demo, Josh Woodward. Hey everyone. Last year at I.O., we introduced Notebook LM, a research and writing tool grounded in the information you give it. Since then, we've seen a lot of momentum with students and teachers using it. And today, Gemini 1.5 Pro is coming to Notebook LM, and it's great. Let me show you. So here we are in Notebook LM. You can load it up with all the materials here on the left. In this notebook, I've been using it with my younger son, and I've added some of his science worksheets, a few slide decks from his teacher, and even an open source textbook full of charts and diagrams. With 1.5 Pro, it instantly creates this notebook guide with a helpful summary and can generate a study guide, an FAQ, or even quizzes. But for my son, Jimmy, he really learns best when he can listen to something. So we've prototyped a new feature with Gemini, and it's called Audio Overviews. Notebook LM is going to take all the materials on the left as input and output them into a lively science discussion personalized for him. Let's take a listen. So let's, uh, let's dive into physics. What's on deck for today? Well, uh, we're starting with the basics, force and motion. Okay. And that, of course, means we have to talk about Sir Isaac Newton and his three laws of motion. Ah, yes, the foundation for understanding how objects move and interact. Ah, yes, this is where multimodal really shines. Now, it generated this audio discussion based on that text material. And what's amazing is that my son and I can join into the conversation and steer it whichever direction we want. When I tap, Join. Hold on, we have a question. What's up, Josh? Yeah, can you give my son Jimmy a basketball example? Hey, Jimmy. That's a fantastic idea. Basketball is actually a great way to visualize force and motion. Let's break it down. OK, so first, imagine a basketball just sitting there on the court. It's not moving, right? That's because all the forces acting on it are balanced. The downward pull of gravity. Pretty cool, right? I got to say, the first time my son heard this, you should have seen how big his eyes got. Because he was gripped. They were talking to him. He was learning science through the example of basketball, his favorite sport. Now, what's interesting is under the hood, you saw that Jim and I had used some of the concepts of gravity, Sir Isaac Newton, but nothing in there was about basketball. It connected the dots and created that age-appropriate example for him. And this is what's becoming possible with the power of Gemini. You can give it lots of information in any format, and it can be transformed in a way that's personalized and interactive for you. Back to you, Sundar.